Hi, this is Nicole Young. I'm going to show you how you can do some non-destructive dodging and burning in Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CS4, but you can use this in some of the previous versions of Photoshop as well. All right, I have here a picture of a horse that I took in here in California. And as you can see, some of the uh, face is a little too dark and there could be a little bit more detail added here in the mane. So I'm going to do um, some fun dodging and burning with this guy. The first thing I'm going to do is create a new layer. I can do that by clicking on the add a new layer button down here in the bottom of your layers panel. And then I need to fill it with gray. I want to fill it with 50% gray to be specific. So I'm going to hold down my shift key with the delete button and that's shift backspace on a PC. And then I get this dialog box. Right here it gives you some options and 50% gray is always going to be one of them so just go ahead and click OK. Make sure your opacity is at 100% as well. And there we go. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to change the blend mode of this. We're going to change it to overlay. Now what the overlay blend mode does is it actually makes anything that is 50% gray in the layer and it makes it transparent. So in this case it should make the entire layer transparent. There we go. All right, now any if any changes we do to this will still be applied below as long as they're not 50% gray. So to actually make some changes in this image to dodge and burn, we need to actually paint with black or with white. So I'm going to make sure I'm in my brush tool and I click B to get there. And you want to check your foreground and background colors over here and you want them to be both black and white and you can get to that real quickly by just clicking on D and that should bring it to the way I have it here on the screen. Now the first thing I want to do actually is make this lighter and in order to do that I actually want to paint with white. So I'm on black right now so to get over to white to switch those two around I'm going to hit X and now white is my foreground color and I'm going to check up here in the options bar and I'm actually going to check out my uh, my my brush options and right now I have the opacity at 30%. A lot of times it's going to be defaulted at 100%. So this is probably what your screen will look like. Now, with the brush tool open, I can actually quickly change the opacity of the brush by just using the number keys on my keyboard. And I'm actually gonna start painting at 10%. So I'm gonna hit one and that brings it down to 10. Now, if you were to hit two, it would make it 20, three, it would make it 30, etc. To get back to 100%, just hit zero and it goes all the way up to 100. But I wanna paint with 10%, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit one. I'm also going to change the brush size by using my right and left bracket keys. And as you can see, they just go up in size and down in size. I'm a real big fan of keyboard shortcuts. It really makes my workflow go a lot faster when I'm working on a lot of pictures. All right, so I, I have white, I have my brush tool, and I'm just going to go ahead and start painting. And it's just starting to lighten up his face. Now, if you lift up or unclick. I'm using a Wacom tablet, so I actually literally am lifting up my pen from the thing. And I'm going to start painting again. It'll just keep painting over top of what I did before. Just going to paint until I uh, think that his face is lightened up enough. And I can always go back and change it if I want to. All right. So we've lightened up his face. Now I want to actually darken his mane. I want to burn in some of this on his mane. So I'm going to hit X and switch to black. I'm going to bring up my uh, opacity to about 20%. And I'm going to drop my brush size down just so it works better with this image. And then start painting. And I could keep going on this you know, for a couple of minutes and really get it perfected, but um, I just wanted to give you all a really good idea of a very non-destructive way to do some dodging and burning in Photoshop. To view more of my work, please visit my portfolio at iStockphoto.com slash Nicole Please feel free to comment on this and other posts at twipphoto.com.